Solving for interest rates. What interest rate do I need? Your client wants to accrue a million dollars when she retires in 40 years. If she deposits 60,000 today, what annual rate of return would she have to earn to meet her goal? To solve this problem, we need to find four variables and then use the calculator to solve for the fifth. We start with our client wanting to accrue a million dollars when she retires. That puts us at a future value goal of a million, so we have a million bucks in there for FV. She's going to retire in 40 years, so we can put 40 for in. And she has 60,000 today, so we'd say 60,000 PV. Once we have those in, we notice there are no additions or subtractions on an annual basis to this corpus, so payment remains zero. That 60000 might be money she has, a checking savings, an IRA account, a brokerage account, but she's got 60000 today. We're going to see what it would take to get to that million. Now let's put those numbers on a timeline. We start with PV at 60000 That's what we have today. And we know we're going to grow it to a million in the future. So we put a million with FV. We don't have any payment, so payment's going to be zero, and we have 40 periods, or 40 in, to get there. That leaves I as the variable we're solving for. What interest rate do I need to find? Let's plug it in a calculator and see what kind of rate we need. We're going to start by saying 40 is in, the number of periods we need to get. Then 60,000 plus minus PV. Again, that 60,000 leaves my wallet, so we're going to key it in as a negative number for present value. Zero is the payment. I'm not going to make any payments here. And then a million is my goal, what I need to accrue in 40 years. So let's go ahead and hit I and see what that number is. 7.29. So as a financial professional, you need to look at that and think, all right, 7.29. Is it doable? Well, certainly it's well under historical equity returns, but it's also above historical bond returns. So a number that's 7.29, we're going to need to go to the client and make sure we understand the risk reward to get to that million bucks.